Hey, what's up, YouTube? Leo Shang here, host of the Extreme Fully Fishing Channel. Today is May 4th, 2017, my 51st outing of this year. I'm still down here in South Carolina, good old Charleston, and I have a very, very special guest with me today because today this guest is gonna put me hopefully on my first ever ship's head. Yeah, the Arco Sargus something <laughs> that is this the species name of the ship's head all right so we got here fish charleston hey, mostly known as darcy she is my uh you could say co-worker from cast king we both we both promote cast king and you've been fishing Yay! here for a long long time i've right? been fishing charleston for about 10 years now i'm not a local girl but i feel like i've kind of gotten this this fish thing down around these parts <laughs> all um, righty good stuff she's got that little accent going on too huh guys yep so she's got a setup gonna, ready here we got a rod. tiny little rod we got to try our best to catch some chips head now besides chips head what else have you caught around this area? Around this area, yeah. we catch red drum, mm -hmm. flounder, speckled trout, black drum, whiting, wow. um, pinfish. Mm -hmm. We catch all sorts of stuff around these parts. It's a, a great estuary. Um, mm -hmm. and I'm big on catch and release. Today we might keep a sheep set or two so Leo can, can sample the taste because <laughs> they're a very, very white, um, mild, amazingly tasted fish. So. We're, we're doing our best here to, to get some on and you guys you guys heard that it they work all right you guys heard it yeah so today's video we're probably gonna do a little catch and cook if we are able to catch some of them and yeah I mean Charleston's got an amazing an amazing number of species down here and as you guys know as a species hunter right we gotta try to catch at least <laughs> you know we gotta try to catch as many as possible guys I'm not gonna lie to you you know how I roll right so today we're gonna focus on the ship's head. I may go for something else, I don't know. I'm gonna get myself set up. Darcy over here, Fish Charleston is gonna give you guys a few hints and tips on how to catch them. Enough talking guys, enough wasting time, all right? Let's get the fishing started. All right guys, so check this out. Huh? This is the weird bait that we are going to be using for today. Haha. <laughs> Apparently these little buggers here are called fiddle crabs. I've never seen them before, but I gotta tell you something, they are, they are quite lively, huh? How about I put my finger in here and see what happens, huh? Well, okay, maybe that's not that good of idea, but anyways. <laughs> According to good old Darcy right here, we got two types of fiddle crabs in here, the males and females, of course. And the males are the ones with the big pinchers right here. Females, I don't know why, just ask Mother Nature, they don't have the big pinchers, okay? So this is what we're going to be using for bait for today for the ship's head. We got some other stuff here too, but we're going to start with the fiddle, fiddle crabs, okay? So let's hook one of these up and see what happens. Straight to the side. Straight through the side. You do not want that hook uh -huh. to come out the other side and be exposed. Gotcha, you so want you to keep wanna... it alive. Right, and you, the sheep's head is a very smart fish, mm -hmm. so if they see this tip of the hook coming out of the other side, uh -huh. they're going to be a lot less likely to hit your Really? Your yes. They're that finicky, huh? They are very finicky. And just a little setup, a small sinker, and you just drop it right there. You just drop it right on down. Uh huh. All the way down. All the way down. Um, sometimes you got to kind of find them. Okay. Uh, but. And when you get the bite, it's I, going to be strong. It's not going to no, be strong. It's, it's going, going to be, to be a, a little, little tap. Yeah, they call them convicts because they'll steal your crab and you'll never know it. Oh, wow. I see. Now you're giving me some insight here. That's yeah. why people usually you go light on them. Is that why? Yeah, and I like to um, kind of jig it up and down. Mm -hmm. they're, they don't always feed off of the bottom. Gotcha. So sometimes you want to suspend it. You got to kind of find where they're feeding. Gotcha. I see. So there you, guys, there you go, one guys, you got Fish, Fish Charleston right here giving you guys some tips yep. on Ship's Head 101. Oh, this is, oh, easy crab! There's one male. little lively crab. Okay. No, I got a female. If you get the male, you got to rip the big So wait, how do, you, how do you hook this thing again? So hook him straight through the side. It's straight to the side? Just like that. Just, just like that? Just like that. And the hook doesn't come out? Nope. Ooh, this is pretty neat. 
Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, very, very light path. I see it. Got one. Oh, yeah. Come up here, fish. Yes, yeah. yeah, son. Check that out. Uh. This is going to be my first ever ship's head right here. If I land this guy. Oh, look at that. It's a beautiful fish. It's a beautiful fish. Beautiful fish. Well, this is a small one. So, dude, look at this. How cool is that? Oh, my God. Yeah, dude, this is a species 169 for me. The little ship's head. Look at that. Wow, this is a beautiful fish. Holy moly, guys. <laughs> Check the teeth on this thing, man. They're like freaking human teeth. Are you kidding me? This is, this is like some cow right here, man. Wow, yeah, beautiful fish for sure. One fish that I caught that was very similar to the ship's head back in the days was actually the grass porgy. Had some little teeth in front here, but this is like a whole different deal, you know? All right, anyways, let's take a photo and release this guy. Oh, hell yeah, look at that. Double up on the ship's head right here. Oh my God, are you kidding me? We got dinner later. This is like the big granddaddy of this one right here. Oh my God, dude. That's a g freaking giant. What, is this for real? What is the size over here for the ship's head? 14 inches. 14 inches? Do you think that's gonna hit 14? I don't know. I don't know if I've got a, a measuring state, but I think that's 14 inches. You see that? The fish is so yummy that even the dog wants it. That, that's when you know you got good dinner right there. All right, guys, let me release the ship's head here for you guys. This one's going back where it belongs, all right? Too small. I think it's like 14 inches here to take one of them home. You know, just gotta release it. Give it a little bit of time. When it's ready, you know, it goes down. It's been, out, it's been outside of the water for a few shots, you know. I don't know how sensitive these fish are, so. Whoa, he, oh, oh, okay, he's good to go. <laughs> All right, that one's good to go. <laughs> Apparently not that sensitive. Check this out, huh? Darcy here at work with a little machete. This is the, as you guys can see, this machete is very worn, you know? <laughs> this is what she uses to kill people in the meantime, you know? We're so scraping, trying to create a feeding frenzy down here for ourselves. Exactly, so you guys see, this is the ship's head secret, all right? Get yourself a huge ass machete. No, I'm just kidding, okay? It doesn't need to be a huge one. A shovel will <laughs> even work. Yeah, a shovel work, a little guard, garden, garden, garden too, you know, and then just kind of, you know, scrape it around so that the things all go down there and the ship's head get ready to feed. Oh, look at that gunk, man. Woo! Just a little guy? Yeah. Little guy counts too. Look at that. Well, any little guy on that little rod feels great. Woo! Look at that. Oh. Yeah, that's a beauty. Oh, oh my God. Oh, man, that dog wants it. Hey. <laughs> He's so excited to see the fish, you know? Yeah, just a little fella huh? on the side of the mouth. Still little guy has been out of the water for how long? <laughs> see a minute or so. A minute or so? All right, let's see how he, how he does going back. Yeah, man, I would think ship's head would be sturdier than this, but apparently they are pretty sensitive. Look at that. That fish has been traumatized by the Asian and the white folk. <laughs> yeah, he's got to go back and tell all his friends, friends, today I saw some weird stuff. <laughs> you know? There we go. Got a little bait right here. Got a smaller fish. Uh, no, oh, nice. This is perfect bait we got right here, son. We got a little blue fish. Tango, easy. We got to use this blue fish as bait, okay? Very, very little snapper blue, the Pomatomo Salta Tricks. Perfect bait, man. Guys, we got to chop the, the hell out of this fish, and we're going to put some cut bait on here, see what else is swimming around these areas. Come on, 
get it, get it. Get it! Yes, son! What is this? I'm I'm the Dink Master. And I think this is I think this is a new species for me. I'm pretty sure. Let's see. Oh hell yeah, what is this? Let's check this out. This does not look like an inland silver side. Oh easy fish! Well whatever this is, I think it's new for us guys. Micro fishing at its best right here. Look at this. I don't know, it does look like some kind of inland silver, it does look like some kind of silver side though. I'm gonna inquire with my friend, mouth is a little bit upwards, in the range of three inches. Beautiful little guy. <laughs> so yeah guys, the little fella just fell right to the crack of the dock here, and I lost it. Thankfully, I took two photos before the little minnow got away. So we will check what the species this is, I gotta keep you guys in touch. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's see, let's see. You probably got your crab. Yeah, I probably got my crab already. It's yeah. on, it's on. Yeah, it's on, it's on. Sorry, sorry. Hold it. Oh, son. Oh, it's stay away, doggy. Stay away, doggy. All right. All right, guys. Let's take care of the ship's head right here because these fish are quite sensitive. Just gonna try to unhook this fella right over here for you guys to see. He's still giving a few runs here. Very nice fish to fight. Very fun fish to fight, gotta tell you that much. Look at that, huh? Wow, he's got some power, son! All right, he's good, he's good now. Beautiful, beautiful fish right here, huh? <laughs> Look at that. Man, that's why I say, guys, if you never tried saltwater fishing before, you know, grab your gear, Give it a go, because saltwater fishing will give you the fight of a lifetime. Look at those teeth. This is no joke. There we go. Right. Go for it, ship's hat. Oh, beautiful. Oh, oh, oh. Easy fish! Oh, that's a good one. Uh, I'd have my drag set a little bit loose, so yeah. It's a smaller one. Uh, I'll take it. I'll take any ship's hat today, man. Look at that! <laughs> it's so much fun catching this fish, guys. You have no idea. Look at this. Oh my god, what a beautiful fish. Look at the size there. Oh my god, look at this teeth, man. Let me put my hand there. Oh, no way. I ain't doing that. Mm -mm. No, forget it. Okay, let's release this guy. Nice and easy. That's what she said, right? Nice and easy for you guys here. Whoa! All right, easy fish. Ooh, aggressive. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Come here, boy. Come here, boy. I don't know how nice it is, but uh, ah, it's small. It's small one. Yeah, <laughs> having fun with the small ones here. <laughs> The bite was so light, guys. The tide is going down, but anyways, I gotta try to hook this guy here. They give powerful, oh gee. They give powerful runs, you know? You gotta be super careful with this guy. Let me pick him up here. He's a small one. Come up here, come. Oh, all right. He got him hooked right there. Got my hook back. That's what I call a good release, son. So much fun catching these, uh, this ship hat. Oh, having a blast down here. I would like to give big thanks to Fish, Charleston. You guys don't see all the hard work that she's putting right here, but she's actually going to these pilings, right? Like this, with a cooler and getting our chum to actually chum over here and attract the fish. So she's actually doing all the hard work, you know, and I, I greatly appreciate it, of course, because I get to be here and actually <laughs> fish, you know? Anyways, keep on, let, let's keep on catching them. Wow. Our so this is pretty much the stuff that you got off the walls. Yeah. Oh, and you open it up with a big ass machete. Oh my God, look at that. So juicy. It's like you're cooking for the fish. I am. I am the fish cooker. 
the fish hooker. <laughs> okay. Well, better than being the fish hooker, right? <laughs> yeah. I'll be the fish hooker oh, man. Whatever. Ooh, look at that. Wow. Yeah, this is what I call chum. That stuff going there may look nasty to us, but the fish, <laughs> they love it. Really? You don't think it's a ship hat, ship's hat of me? Oh, it is a ship's hat. Oh, oh, maybe my line is... Uh... No, you good. I'm good? Yeah. Okay, good, good. Oh yeah, another one of them little fellas. Look at that. You got this one on the crab or on the oyster? Crab. On the crab. Yeah, that's a beautiful fish. That's gorgeous. Yeah, right on. Good fish. Boom. Bye, buddy. Oh, son. That was some hook set right there. All right. Man, these are some beautiful fish. Still looking for that 14 inch or plus. This one was hooked on the side of the mouth, at least. Yeah, this one should be it. Yeah, beautiful, good stuff. Yeah, little nice little guy. Tell your mama, Nims. It's all right, hopefully that, wa that one wasn't the 14 pounder. All right, let's come to this side here. Small one. Oh man, they, they fight good. Saltwater fish can't beat it. Look at that. Oh my lord. This ship had, they got power. Yeah, a little bit bigger this time. Guys, an amazing fight. Having a good time down here with the ship's head. They fight really good. They give this burst, these runs, you know. Look at that. Ah. I mean, we don't really have a ruler, right? I got a rod. Uh, it's okay. I would rather just put it back just in case. Right. Yeah. He's barely hooked on the lip, too. I'm just waiting for him to unhook itself. Come on, fish. Will I really have to unhook you? Yeah, I'll have to unhook this fish. All right, guys. Let's, let's unhook this fish. Wow, look at that, huh? Barely hooked on the side of the mouth right here. This is a bigger one. Holy moly, this is a bigger one. Holy moly, ouch! <laughs> this fish wanna blind me, man. <laughs> Got salt water in my eyes and stuff. All right, let's see, let's see. How am I gonna grab you here? It's hooked pretty good. Oh. Uh, I don't know. Like you say, it is close, but I don't. Oh yeah, I mean here on this rod it says 16 inches. Really? Like yeah. Right inches? Yeah, look. Oh yeah, that's keeper. All right, guys. So we got this guy right here. We don't really have a ruler, but here on this rod there's a little measurement stick that says that this here is a 16 incher. All right. I gotta do the little dollar bill thing too on this fish, just to double check. But I think we got ourselves a little keeper. We gotta do a little catch and cook with this guy. Don't worry, fish, you're not gonna go to waste, okay? We're gonna eat you good, son. Nice little ship's head right here. We gotta have for dinner later today. Darcy said she knows how to cook ship's head. So I mean, you know, if, if, I, if I don't survive to see the day tomorrow, it is Darcy's fault, okay? But we will see about that. All right, catching the little snapper blues here. We gotta use these as bait for the red fish later today. People keep telling me that the blue fish are really good bait. We gotta put that to the test. You want it, doggy? You want it? You want it? You want it? No, it's going to the cooler. Sorry. It's gonna be for the for the fish later today, okay? 
There we go. Boom. Oh, his smaller one. Wait, what is that? Oh, you serious? <laughs> All right. That counts as another species for the day. A little sea bass. <laughs> Man, oh, okay. So they have some black sea bass down here too. Hey, beautiful fish. I'll take it. Take a shot. Release this guy. Let's release our beautiful little sea bass here. Look at that. Huh? What a gorgeous fish. Very, very small, but very, very pretty. Holy moly, look at that, look at that. Oh gee, dude, he took it. But it's a big piece though. Oh! Oh, oh, oh dude! This is it! This is it! This gotta be it! Oh, it's a big one. Dude, oh, it's gotta be a big one. Do we have a net? No, go get the one off Andy's boat. Straight down there on your left. Straight there on my left. Go, go. Oh, it's a redfish. Holy moly. Wait, wait, wait. I want to film the redfish. Oh, it's a redfish. Okay, I go get the net. I go get the net. Gee, I was like, this is going to be a big ass ship's head. Yeah, I thought it. I All right, it easy. Okay, got him. Okay, let me try to use this cast king D hooker here, but it's pretty deep. Oh, gee. Let me see here. Tang. Wait, let me see. Okay, I mean, I got the hook out cool. with the D hooker. You want to get a picture? Of course, yeah. Oh, gee, let's get a shot. Holy moly. Let's do this. That's a nice red drum. Little tail. Little tail. Beautiful fish we got here. Now he's trying to bite me. Gee. I'm put him back now. Yeah, put him back. That's fine. On the release. Well, let's do this. Nice, neat release of the redfish. Oh, he's good, he's good. Look at that, he's happy he's gone. Nice job, that was nice. I, I saw the take too, you know? I was like, that's gonna be a big ship's head, you know? I saw that sucker come up that's and show nuts. his um, tail, and I was like, uh -huh. this is uh -huh. gonna be like a state record <laughs> sheep's head. Ooh, boys and girls, I've been fishing down here since 8 a.m. Right now it's about 12, you know, so it's noon. So, you know, four hours. The action was actually not so hot, but not as low for sure, right? Because as you guys saw in this video, we landed like, what, four different species of fish? I got two new species today, the ship's head and the Atlantic silver side that is 100. 69 and 170 got a bunch of snapper bluefish that Darcy and I are going to be using in the afternoon for the redfish. We gotta go after some red drum, and I got a little black sea bass as well. Uh, so, I mean, in terms of fishing, today was a really good day, okay, guys. And I would like to give extra, extra thank you to Darcy right over there, Fish Charleston because you guys didn't really get to see in this video okay but she did a lot of the hard work today okay folks like i told you earlier in this video she went around with the cooler collecting the little chum right here you know just for this area she got me hooked up with some of the gear you know the hook she taught me how to fish for the ship's head how to hook the little feeder crabs you know so i would like to give her a big big thank you okay now morning session is done we are hopping to the afternoon fishing session i'm gonna save that for another video hopefully it is going to be amazing she told me there are some 20 25 pounds red drum in this next spot the snapper blues that we caught in this video we are using as bait for the next video so stay tuned this south carolina trip is going really well so far Tie lines and thanks for watching this video, folks.
Look, brother, I have met many people who have been through depression and also have ADHD. I understand that it is a struggle, all right? And I am very glad that instead of just staying inside a little room by yourself and keeping everything to yourself, you actually found a way, you know, of go through it, right? With some passion in life, right? I always tell my friends, when you have these type of problems, right? Make sure you talk to people, make sure you talk to your loved ones. When you feel a little lonely, a little sad, you know, don't keep everything in your heart, right? Go out there, talk to your mom, talk to your dad, talk to your loved ones, talk to your friends, because that really, really helps.